Alright guys, it is a gray and gloomy day here in the end times. We have slogging into, it is a Tuesday afternoon, September 27th, 2022. So I am sitting here having my, uh, having my lunch and going through looking at the various labels of shit that's been left here. You know, between the Doomer meetup and uh, Airbnb guests and whatnot. So, uh, <laughs> having all kinds of fun reading the the, lab the labels. We're going to start with Sochil Corn Chips. The Dipper. They are naturally cholesterol free. No preservatives. Non-GMO verified. They are certified gluten-free. I have no idea what the K Parve certification label is. So, uh, all right. So we are saving the planet. So here's the story of Sochil, the Dipper. At Sochil, our mission has always been to provide the finest products and flavors made from authentic ancient recipes yes this is why after many requests from our loyal customers we are proud to introduce the dipper <coughs> we worked tirelessly to find the perfect ratio of thickness to crispness so that we can provide you with the optimal dipping experience I have not had an optimal dipping experience in at least, well, good God, how many years has it been since I have had an optimal dipping? But anyway, back to So Chill. We care for our customers and their families, which is why we use the highest quality ingredients and non hydrogenated oils non-hydrogenated oils. Hmm. Try these corn chips with any of our sauces and experience the flavors of ancient cooking. And then they remind you again that they're non-GMO, gluten-free, and all this other crap. So then we get to the ingredients. We get to the ingredients. Uh, now, they're very careful to not use the word organic to describe the first ingredient, which of course is corn. Now, it's non-GMO white corn, but they never say the corn is uh, organic. It is non-GMO. We'll give them that. But the second ingredient, the ancient ingredient, is organic. And take a wild guess what the white corn is fried in before they sprinkle on the sea salt. Yes, it is the non-hydrogenated organic palm oil. Palm oil, the second ingredient uh, in these little fried chips. Now, I do not know, I honestly do not know, guys, if palm oil is an authentic ancient recipe or not. I do not know if the, I guess this would be the ancient Aztecs or Maya were frying their corn in palm oil, you know, back before uh, Columbus got here and uh, wiped them off the face of the planet. But as long as we're down there in Mexico, we're just going to stay on the Ruta Maya. Good old Austin, Texas, and I found this myself. I could not believe it. From Austin, Texas, Rutamaya, 100% organic coffee, USDA certified organic. 100% organic, shade grown, holding. These are the finest Arabica, or however you pronounce that word, beans, shade grown by a cooperative of 1,500 farmers in the highlands of Chiapas, Mexico, <coughs> the land of the modern Maya. 
the modern Maya, you know, the ones that Don Juan Matus talks about, the defeated, beaten down, uh, th those Maya. Yes. Okay. And here is the story of the Ruta Maya 100% organic coffee, shade grown. Oh, man. We never forget where the life force of Rudamaya started and where it remains. Deep in the jungles of Chiapas, Mexico, <coughs> deep in the jungles of Chiapas, Mexico, uh -huh. <coughs> surrounded by some of the world's richest cultures and natural surroundings, whether it be on behalf of people, animals, or plants, we are committed to supporting those making positive contributions to the world around us. And, and guys, I'm not going to launch in <clears throat> to uh, my organic shade-grown coffee rant. This, uh, that, let me just give you the Cliff Notes version for anybody who does not understand this. This unadulterated, fucking horseshit, shade grown organic greenwashing. Uh, and, and this is even in, really infested the limp dick lefties. Uh, that, I, I mean, unbelievable. The, the number of limp dick lefties in Austin, Texas buying this greenwashing horseshit. Okay, uh, <clears throat> there are no jungles left in Chiapas, Mexico, because as much as anything, the coffee farms. If anybody on this planet is suffering some delusion that this bullshit shade-grown coffee means that like, like some jungle natives are walking around planting coffee beans inside a native, you know, it's crap. It's greenwashing bullshit. Uh, an organic coffee farm takes down a rainforest as quick as any other kind of uh, rainforest. And, and some people were pointing out to me in Peru when I was living in the organic shade-grown coffee capital of the world down there in Peru that since or since organic coffee doesn't last as long, uh, it doesn't last as many years. I think it has about a seven year lifespan, if I remember, that they actually have to continue clearing more land to support organic coffee than uh, than uh, inorganic coffee. And uh, everything else about it, and, and this shade-grown bullshit, they grow it under basically weeds. The, these big-ass, fast-growing weed trees is what they're shaded by. Uh, probably an exotic species. Okay, so who are Ruta Maya's partners the Mesoamerica Center at the University of Texas at Austin aims to facilitate knowledge, learning, and understanding about the ancient indigenous cultures of Mexico and Central America through education, research, and exchange. Well, I think they need to look up uh, <clears throat> about coffee and uh, palm oil and do a little bit of research and education on uh, how coffee and uh, palm oil. And then they are partners with the Shark Research and Conservation Program at the University of Miami, which conducts cutting edge science to save the oceans, hmm. to save the ocean's apex predators and subsequently restore ecosystem function in a human altered world. Good for uh, the little limp dick greenwashing lefties from Austin, Texas. 
I'm not even going to go through this one. Uh, the original Oatly oat milk full fat. No dairy, no nuts, no gluten. Oat milk full fat. And they go, good God, uh, all of their uh, little limp dick lefty. Uh, <clears throat> packaging messages this was left behind this 25 year old medical student who showed up here with a pound of bacon in one hand and her oat milk in the other she was joking uh, as she was immediately frying up a BLT uh, she called herself an anti-vegan she's an anti-vegan this 25-year-old future doctor, but uh, she decided she was gonna gonna drink some oat milk. But she took one swallow and said that was it. So she let me know the oat milk was all mine. She had no interest. She was going back to cow's milk. I thought I might be able to get through McKesson's. I mean, McCormick Grill Mates Montreal Steak Seasoning from Costco. But, uh, no, I, I love it. So their steak seasoning is great on steaks, hamburgers, and pork chops. So there you go. Uh, at least they're being honest. And it is gluten-free. No MSG. They just couldn't get away with it. But finally we get to the uh, the Baker's Treat All Things Yummy Swiss Rolls. And there you go. Uh, <laughs> they make no bones about being uh, <laughs> exactly what they are. And of course palm oil. One of the major ingredients. Uh, I have not sampled a a Swiss roll. Did I eat one of these nasty things? I, Sancho Panza says I will be glad to uh, sample that Swiss roll. I'm going to have to get a little more desperate. But anyway, I see the rains have returned. I'm going to go up get in my gas sucking truck and see if those save the planet Amish people have managed to cut down and saw up some more save the planet dead hemlock two by fours for my new tiny house <sighs> get out there and enjoy reading your labels while you still can fucking horse shit are you ready to go Little dog up to the sawmill to see how the Amish are saving the planet. Oh my God.